In this lecture, we are going to implement a route handler for handling post requests so that we can add new movies in the data source. Let's go to VS Code. And here, let's go ahead and let's implement a new route handler. So here what we want is, on this same endpoint, we want to send a post request. Okay, so here we want to send a post request. And whenever we send a post request to this endpoint, what we want is, we want to create a new movie object. Let's see how we can do that. So we know that for handling post requests on this app object, we can call this post method. And the first argument of this post method is the URL, the endpoint to which we want to make the post request. So here, the endpoint here is going to be this same endpoint. So I'll copy it from here and I will pass it here. And here it should be API slash V1. Okay. And same thing should be here as well. All right. So this is our endpoint. So whenever a user makes a post request to this endpoint, we want to create a new movie object. For that, let's specify the second argument for this post method, which is the route handler function. And this route handler function is going to receive the request object and the response object. Now, keep in mind that whenever a client makes a post request to this endpoint, with the post request, it also needs to send the data. It also needs to send the movie object, which it wants to create on the server. So when we are going to make a post request from the client, with the request, we are going to send the data, the body for that request. But also remember that out of the box, Express does not put that body data on the request. So this request object, which we are receiving here as the argument, this request object is not going to receive the body data. Let's actually see that. So here inside this route handler function, I'm going to use this console.log statement and there I'm going to log the request body. So this request object is going to have a body property. And let's also send some response whenever a post request is made to this URL. For that, let's use this send method. Okay, and from here, let's send this text response, let's say created. Okay, let's save the changes. Let's go ahead and let's run this app.js. So for that, let's say node space app.js. So the server has started. Let's go to Postman. And from here, on the same endpoint, on the same URL, now instead of making get request, we want to make a post request. And when we are making a post request, with the post request, we also need to send some data. So that data we can specify inside this body section. So here, let's select raw. Okay. And we want to send some JSON data. So I'm going to select JSON. All right. Here, let's create a JSON object. Now, if you remember from our REST architecture lecture, when we send an object in the request body during post request, the database should be able to automatically add an ID for that object based on the previous record. So here, the object which we are sending, there we should not specify the ID for that object explicitly. Okay, that's why here I'm not going to specify the ID for this object. I will simply start with this name property and let's say name of the movie is maybe test. Okay, then we also want to have the release year property and let's say release year is 2018. And then let's also have the duration property and let's say duration is 90 minutes. Okay, so we want to send this JSON object with the request body. So when I go ahead and when I click on this send button, a post request will be sent to this URL. And with that post request, this object will be sent in the body of that request. Okay, so when I click on the send button, all right, request has been sent and we have received this response created. Now let's go back to VS Code. And here you will notice that when we are logging this request.body, it has logged undefined. That means this request object, which we are receiving here as an argument, it does not have this body property. Now, what is the solution here? The solution here is we need to use a middleware. Now, we will talk about middleware in great detail in the coming lectures of this course. But for now, just understand that in order to attach the request body to this request object, we need to use a middleware. And to use a middleware on this app object, we need to use use method. And to this use method, we need to pass the middleware which we want to use. Here, the middleware which we want to use is express dot 
json all right so this is the middleware which we want to use now what this middleware will do is it will add the request body to this request object in very simple words a middleware is just a function that can modify the incoming request data it's called middleware because it stands between or we can say it stands in the middle of the request and response so it's just a step that the request goes through while it's being processed and the step that the request goes through in this example is that the data from the body is added to this request object okay so let's save the changes here again let's stop the server by pressing ctrl c and let's restart the server okay so here it says express is not defined that's because it should be expressed with 2s and not 3s let's save the changes now and let's go ahead and let's run this app.js file so the server has started now let's go back to postman and again let's make a post request to this url to this api so when i click on the send button so the post request has been sent we have received this text in the response and now if i go to vs code you will see that the object which we sent in the request body that has been logged here so now this request object has a body so with the request we are receiving some data on the server now we want to save this data in the data source in our case the data source is this movie.json file so the first thing which we need to do is we need to figure out the id for the new movie object so here when we are making a post request we are sending a new movie object and this movie object does not have an id property so the first thing which we need to do is we need to figure out the id value for this movie object and we need to attach that id property to this object so basically here the id property will be the id of the last object in the movies data plus one if i go to this movies.json file here we have three movie objects and the id of the last movie object is three so here the id for the new movie object which we are receiving with this post request should be four right so to create that new id to get that new id let's go ahead and let's create a variable let's call it maybe new id and to get this new id what we are going to do is we are going to use this movies array all right and to this movies array we need to pass an index here we want to pass the index of this last movie object so to get the index of this last movie object what we can do is we can use the length property on this movies array so here we can say movies dot length so here this movies dot length is going to return three because inside this array we have three movies object and after that we can say minus one that means this expression is going to return two and that will be the index for this last movie object the index for this last movie object is two right so this expression here is going to return us this object now this object has an id property so here we can say dot id so this expression will return us the id value of this last movie object which is three and to that we can add one let's say plus one okay so here we are creating a new id for the new movie object which we are receiving through the post request next we need to create a new movie object and this new movie object will have the data which we are receiving in the request body plus this new id which we have just created so for that let me go ahead and let me create a new variable let's call it new movie okay and to create this new movie i'm going to use this object dot assign method this object dot assign method it basically allows us to create a new object by merging two existing objects together so the first object which i'm going to pass to this object dot assign is this object where we are only going to have an id property and i will set this id property with this new id which we have just created okay so this is the first object and the second object will be the object which we are receiving in the request body so here i can say request dot body so as you can see this request dot body is also storing an object this object so this object dot assign will merge this object and this object and it will create a single object where we will have an id property and its value will be the value stored in this new id variable we will also have this name release year and duration property now here what we could have also done is on this request body itself we could have added 
a new ID property by saying request.body.id and then assigning it with the new ID. But here I did not want it to mutate the original object. Okay, that's why I did not use that approach. All right, so here we created our new movie object. Now we want to push this new movie object to this movies array. So for that, let's go ahead and let's say movies, which is our array dot push. And to this movies array, we want to push this new movie object. So now this movies object has four elements. And what we also want is we want to write this data. We want to write the objects which we have inside this movies variable inside this movies.json file. Okay, so for that, again on this FS module, I am going to use write file. So here I'm not using write file sync method. Here I'm using write file method because this write file method will be executed asynchronously. See, here I'm using this write file method inside this callback function. And this callback function will be executed by event loop. So if I use write file sync, that means the write file method which runs synchronously, in that case it will block the event loop and we don't want to do that. That's why here I'm using the asynchronous version of write file. Now to this, we need to pass the path of the file. So the file in which we want to write the data. Here, we want to write the data inside this movies.json file. So that file is present inside the data folder and in there we have movies.json. Then we also need to specify the data which we want to write. Here, we want to write this movies array inside this movies.json file. Okay, so this movies variable, it is storing a JavaScript array and in that array, we have a list of movies. So we want to write that array inside this movies.json file. So here, first, I'm going to convert this JavaScript object into JSON object. For that, we can use json.stringify. Okay, and to that, we can pass this movies object, basically this movies array. And this movies array is a JavaScript array. And we are converting that JavaScript array into a JSON data. All right. And finally, we can specify a callback function, the callback function, which will be called when writing of data is complete. And here, let's simply specify the error object. And from within this callback function, we want to send a response. Now, keep in mind that whenever we make a post request to the server, on the server, a new object will be created. So in the response, we should get that new object which has been created on the server. So from within this callback function, let's use this response object. On that, let's set the status of the response. So here, since we are creating a new object, we are creating a new resource. Here, the status code should be 201. Okay, so that this 201 stands for created. Then let's send some JSON response. Again here, I'm going to use the JSON, JSON data formatting. So here I will use a set of curly braces. Inside that, I will specify the status property. Okay, and I will set this status property to success. Then let me specify the data property. And to this data property, we are going to specify an object. So basically we are using the concept of enveloping here. And in there, we are going to specify this movie property. Okay, because here we are creating one movie. And to that movie, I'm going to assign this new movie. Okay, because it is this new movie object which we are creating, right? So from here, we are sending the response. Now, here also we are sending a response. So let's comment this line of code. And here we have extra set of curly braces. So let's remove that. Let's save the changes. Okay, let me stop the server by pressing Control C. And let's restart the app.js. Okay, so the server has started. Let's go to Postman. And from here, let's make a new post request to this URL, to this endpoint. So now when I make a new post request to this endpoint, a new movie object should be created inside the movie.json file. Let's see that. Let's make a new request. In the response, we should receive that new object which has been created. So basically, this is the new movie object which has been created. Okay. Now let's go back to VS Code. Let's go to movie.json file. And in there, you will see that a new object with this ID 4 has been created. So inside this movies.json file, that new object has been created. Now let's go back to Postman and let's try to make a get request. Okay, 
so here we should receive four movie objects in the response right let's see that let's click on the send button so if we look at the response here we have three movie objects and here we have the fourth movie object okay now let's go ahead and let's create one more movie object so again i'm going to make a post request to this url here let me call this movie as test 2 okay let's say release date is 2020 and duration is maybe 70 minutes okay let's go ahead and let's make this post request so you will see that in the response we are receiving that newly created movie object let's go back to vs code and here we should have one more new object new movie object with this id 5 okay and if i make a get request to this url now in the response we should have five movie objects so when i click on the send button that means when i make a get request now you will see that the count is five and in the response also we have five movie objects so in this lecture we created a simple api for handling post request on this endpoint basically whenever the client is going to make a post request on this endpoint a new movie object will be created all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day